this is me and this is my daughter and she is the one I am doing these tutorials for. I live in Oklahoma and she lives in Arizona so I don't get to see her very often. This humongous book is pretty much testament to my progress. This is, I wanted to make a book of the 50 states that we travel, uh, no, excuse me, the 48 states that we travel. On my colossal tutorial, I remark that I used ink around the photographs to block them out so that I could cut them out. Well, this is, this is in fact what I did. You see the ink? And as you can see, this is the wrong kind of paper, wrong color paper to use, but I didn't know any better. I just thought it looked okay. And in the books that I had, it indicated that I needed a focal point. The one that I used as a focal point is this one, and this is in Arizona on Interstate 40, and it is the petrified wood. And this is off the interstate. Being truck drivers, we can't stop and go see things, so whatever we see beside the road, then I take pictures of. This is n near Holbrook. And then some people have created dinosaurs. But I didn't know what a focal point was. And it definitely isn't this one because this is, there's just a little bit of thing that I want attention brought to and a whole bunch of other stuff. This one would have been a better focal point thing, but I didn't know. And the outrageous continues. The paper I bought, I went to a, uh, an office supply store and this is where I found most of the beginnings of my scrapbooking stuff. And I didn't know anything about color. I didn't know anything about composition. I didn't know anything. And I didn't really have anybody to teach me. The focal point, there really isn't a focal point. There's a bunch of stuff. But you see there's more ink around, around the, the photographs. And in this one, you can sort of see our dog. We stopped at Baskin Robbins and it was hot that day. Terribly hot that day. And this is at uh, Quartzsite, Arizona on Interstate 10. So we got her some ice cream and I'm holding the ice cream cup between my feet. And the rest of the stuff is just things that, that we've seen. So the only personal item in this whole page is right there and it's not the focal point. But all of these photos, I didn't know anything about lining things up in the camera. This one I got a real good close-up of because it was going right past, we were passing it. So I was able to take a good picture of it. But I didn't know anything at all. This page, I kept everything pretty much, all the papers, the same as the embellishments. And this is what we do for a living, just move truck tractors around. These are on the Missouri River and the only color that I've put in here was on the background of this mat along with the stenciled words sunset and I colored them in. I got a picture of dad taking pictures. These are the different flowers, the pictures of the flowers that he took using his, 
his camera. I just really love these photos. They are so good. Okay, this is one of my most recent pages that I've done. And this is three different pieces of paper. There's this blue with the, the gold uh, stuff. And there's black with gold. I don't it's just gold paint like stuff that's on there. And then the base paper is purple. This is when Dad went and had his radiation. With all of these dark pictures, I put white behind them to draw them out. And here, this title, this is from these, and this is the second page of the layout. And you can see more of the black and the purple in there. And there's just a little bit of the blue over here on this one. And still again, these are dark photographs, so I have the white behind them. And this, this here, is an image taken from the, what, the MRI machine. Of, of These are Dad's markers where his prostate is, and they were shooting in this area with the radiation to try and take care of the prostate cancer that he's been treated for. And this up here, you'll be getting a stencil. This is the stencil that I used and I just laid it on a piece of paper, on this yellow piece of paper, and then I drew in it. You can see the black. You can see the black marker that I used that didn't clean off very good. Let's see if I can get in here. I used the heat embossing and the turquoise embossing powder. <coughs> And I only did it on these on the outside. I didn't do it on these on the inside. Just It just takes working with stuff. It just takes messing with stuff. And trying to find your own way and finding your own style. I don't know what my style is yet. I just know that basically I don't use a lot of embellishments. I do use some, but I don't, I don't use a lot unless I'm particularly going to make something that has a lot of raised embellishments.